Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Glad that you could join us this morning. Going to be having a conversation with Dr. Yaron Danielli. Uh, He's Ph.D., head of A-Moon Alpha. It's an internal section of A-Moon. It's a health tech and life sciences venture fund based in Israel. Welcome to the program, Dr. Yaron Danielli. Uh, Thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, A bit of your background. I understand, of course, you you are a Ph.D. Um, Give us a bit of your background and then tell us about A-Moon. Sure. So um, I was uh, born here in Israel, but raised in South Florida, in Aventura, Florida, and then went to graduate school at NYU, got my PhD in uh, biochemistry department at the biomedical sciences program there, and then uh, relocated back to where I was born here in Israel, did a postdoc at the Weizmann Institute of Science, one of the premier science institutions uh, in the world. Mm -hmm. I was an American Cancer Society fellow uh, during my postdoc, and I also received my business degree at the Technion, which is sort of like uh, the the premier technical um, business um, university here in Israel. Mm -hmm. Um, I spent about 14 years in industry, uh, primarily in managerial roles as C-level and uh, small to to sort of mid-size uh, pharma and biotech companies, always sort of keeping one leg in science and the other in, in business. Uh, in 2017, I joined Yisum. Yisum is uh, one of the world's um, oldest and, and well-known tech transfer organizations. It is uh, the Hebrew University of Jerusalem Technology Transfer mm-hmm. Organization, and I was there for three years. And then uh, I joined Amun Ventures uh, just over half a year ago, and I, my role here is uh, head of Amun Alpha. Uh, it's a health, tech, and life sciences venture fund. Tell us exactly what does that entail? Does that mean that you're um, into funding anything and everything that has to do with med tech? Amun Ventures is, is a uh, large venture fund uh, managing uh, uh, over $1.1 billion dollars. Uh, it is um, the largest health tech uh, and life science focused fund uh, in Israel and one of the leading funds uh, even globally. We do invest, like you said, uh, across the life science vectors in uh, everything from classical biopharma, medical devices, digital health, diagnostics, research tools, as well as healthcare IT and digital health. But in fact, our, our sort of sweet spot is for those complicated multidisciplinary projects that combine data with biology, that combine engineering with materials and clinical medicine, things that sort of represent the convergence of technology and life science that we've been experiencing uh, very dramatically over the last few years. Well, let's talk a bit about this, the latest project uh, that you're involved in. So Amun Alpha is a new uh, unit within Amun that it has the um, very. Uh, let me let me let me start off again. Um, the, the the goal of Amun Alpha is to turn Amun into the venture fund that all of us as entrepreneurs sort of dreamed we've had as uh, the investors in our companies. Mm-hmm. So the goal here is to really identify um, activities that convert a moon to become what we call investor of choice. So in these days, early stage capital as well as late stage capital is somewhat of a commodity. Uh, A lot of people cut checks. There's a lot of money uh, in venture capital. And so the, the, the real question is for the really good entrepreneurs, for the really disruptive ideas, for the most exciting companies, where do they go uh, to get their capital infusion from? And we want them to come to us. And in order for that to happen, we are in, we are investing in platforms and in services and in value offerings that are meant to sort of catapult our portfolio companies to greater success. Uh, for example, we are investing in areas such as talent engagement, acquisition, uh, identification and training globally uh, to the benefit of our portfolio companies. We invest in unique sources and uh, analysis of competitive intelligence. And we also invest in strategic relationships through a program we call the Bridges Program, which aims to sort of build relationships between Amun and key stakeholders in the community like hospitals, payers, 
uh, other venture capitalists, uh, strategic, uh, large strategic companies, and we uh, invest in those relationships to the benefit of the investment platform at Amun, as well as to, uh, uh, to the benefit of the portfolio companies. So by doing all of that, what we're trying to create is we're trying to sort of leverage the scale benefit and the tremendous network that Amun uh, and Amun members and the Amun community has to the benefit of just doing uh, a good by our portfolio company. What do you think that the average person needs to know about where Israel stands as it shows great promise as far as med tech and leading the, the globe in the industry? Yeah, so that's a, that's a great question. And I think people don't realize that when you look at life science and healthcare and you think about those clusters of innovation like Boston or you know New York, New Jersey, or San Fran, Israel is similar in size. In fact, a little larger in terms of the number of life science startups. So we have more than 1,600 life science and healthcare startups here in Israel. So it's a very, very robust uh, life science uh, ecosystem. And Israel has always been known for its sort of innovation ecosystem and its ability to really uh, um, disrupt uh, technologies, particularly technologies that have some sort of technological element to them. Uh, the example that we like to give is, you know, back in the days, Israel, you know, decided that it's going to manufacture a car. And it manufactured a pretty mediocre car um, because, you know, as, as we were competing with the Toyotas of the world, that didn't really work out. But a few decades later, Israel, um, as, as it looked at mobility and it looked at the car industry, came up with um, Mobileye, uh, which was a spin out of the Hebrew University uh, and, and now is the core of Intel's uh, activities towards autonomous driving. So we're we're pretty we're pretty advanced in our ability to sort of marry technology into industries that are ripe for disruption. And this is something that people I think uh, recognize that as this disruption is happening to the healthcare industry, as costs are becoming unbearable, as new solutions are needed for providing better care. Uh, the marriage of technology and the way we conduct ourselves uh, within the healthcare system may come out of uh, Israel once again. Where can our listeners learn some more about Amun? Sure. So our website is Amun, A M O O N, dot fund, F U N D. Uh, you can see our teams. Uh, we have 45 professionals working at Amun with very diverse backgrounds from uh, investment banking to medical to research to, to analysis, you name them, as well as our portfolio companies. Uh, we now have 33 portfolio companies at Amun uh, going at a rate of 10 new investments uh, a year. And we welcome everyone to uh, stop by our website and uh, contact us through there. Great. Dr. Daniele, I appreciate you joining us here on Health Professional Radio this morning. Thank you. Great. Pleasure. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Yaren Danielli, Ph.D., head of Amun Alpha, an internal section of Amun. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au.